Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna to be doing some embroidery on some bags on the MT-1501. So if you guys are interested in the way I'm gonna be doing this, stay tuned. All right, so here are the hoops that I'm using right here. This is the slimline clamping system from Hoop Tech. Um, and it's really good. You have to buy this before you can buy any of this because without this piece here, you can't use none of that. So this piece right here, um, whenever I bought it, I buy all of this stuff right here from another small business called Sew For Less. So if you guys are interested in any of these products right here that I'm using in this video today, um, check out sewforless.com. Um, I don't get anything from them nothing at all i'm not affiliated with them i'm not anything with them it's just me as a small business giving a shout out to them as a small business so like i said if you guys are interested in this product right here check them out soforless.com this one right here is a 5x5 five by, five by 3.5 and then i have one more on its way which is a circle one um and it's going to help when it comes to doing the back of caps so i ordered that one so I can do the back of caps, right? So I have that one coming. Um, for this one, this one, and this one, and the one that I ordered for the back of caps, they all run about $116 for each one. All right, so if you do the math with everything that we have right here, um, it's quite a bit of money, right? Um, but you gotta know, um, this stuff will pay itself off, right? You can try to use these here to put in the bag like this, this bag that we're going to be doing today but you will not get the results that you're going to get with this right if i were to try to use this hoop right here to do what we're going to do it's about the same size but the way it goes in here and here you're not going to get this full square so you're going to have to go even smaller with your image on here to get the same result on this one so with this one we have five by five by 3.5 so we're able to get a full image that size whenever we put it in this bag all right so let me go ahead and get these out of the way we're going to be working with the 5x5 by 3.5 by for these bags today so let me get these out of the way we'll be right back all right so here's what i was talking about whenever i was saying that you have to have this to use this so the good thing about this is it comes with this right here which is like a non-slip grip right here so it has that here then you have another one here that has the same thing that you could put on top so that whenever you clamp this down, whatever you're gonna embroider is not gonna move. And then it also comes with this one, which we're gonna be using today, which whenever you put this in, also has the sandy grit in here, but it has a lip that will help push it down to stabilize whatever you're doing. So we're gonna be using this one today. So how the, how is this used? So like I said, you have to have this piece right here, right? So it has this little knob right here, and they all have this groove so you simply take this right here put it into this groove tighten your clamp down and it's good to go so we're going to be using like i said we're going to be using this one and if you look at this right here we have a slot right there slot right there and then if we look at our clamp system we have the nub right here and a nub right there so we simply take this put it there and put it there all right so whenever we do this bag right here it's pretty thin so I'm gonna double up on this maybe even triple up on it we'll see um, just so that we can make this a little bit thicker whenever it comes to embroidering this right here and like I said if you don't have these clamps so even with the mighty hoops you can still get the mighty hoop in here let me show you you can still get the mighty hoop in here right get it in there get it into place and then we can put this on top right but we're still this is my center mark on my word on where we're going to be um, embroidering, right? So I would not be able to get this as low as I wanted it. So the, the name would actually be a little bit higher. Um, I have the center of the bag ready to go right here. So whenever I put this one in here, I can move this all the way to the bottom and still get this centered. So we're going to go ahead, take this to the embroidery machine and set it up. All right, so here we are with the with the clamp, right? So you got these two screws. You got one here and one here. That's what's going to hold it in place in the bracket in the back, right? So if we look and I try to put it in, it's going to hit. 
and then if I clamp it down and try to put it in, it's going to hit again. All right, so simply take it around everything and then slide it right into place. All right, once you got it into place, you're going to grab your Allen key. It's the same size Allen key that comes with the ones from Rakoma, right? So it's the same size. Do that, and then whenever you're ready, you're going to do the other side. So if you can't get to it like this, you're like, I can't get to it, simply move this over. We're just going to hit this and change this to needle number one. It's going to slide it all the way over for us. And then we're going to tighten this one. All right, so here we are. We got this back on here. One thing I want to tell you you don't want to do is you don't want to have this clamp system up in the air whenever you are trying to move the head right here, right? So make sure that this is down and it's clamped down in the back so that whenever you're trying to move this and you do this, it's not going to hit this right here. So just imagine if this thing was up and you tried to move it, it's going to rub against these. And if it didn't for some reason and it made it over here, it's going to smash this right here and just don't want to do it right so make sure this is clamped down so that we can move it around right so I'm going to move it back to six and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead we're going to be using this one so we're going to put it on one side get it on the other side just like that Take my backing and put it in here and then when I put the bag over it this thing may move so what I'm going to do like I said we're using two of them I'm going to use some spray adhesive uh, probably pick this up at Walmart and I'm gonna come down here to the trash can spray a little bit on there and then I'm gonna stick them together and then I'm gonna put a little bit more on this right here and then I'm gonna stick it inside of the bag all right so I'm gonna put it inside the bag just like this and then once I get it inside the bag I'm simply just gonna press it together so that it will stay in place whenever we get ready to embroider. All right, so if you look in there, there is our backing in there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this I'm gonna put it into place. This right here, this arm, you wanna make sure you open up the bag and you get it underneath because what you don't wanna do is not do that and then you're gonna sew the bag together. All right, so we're simply gonna take our bag here, make sure our backing doesn't move. Yeah, it's glued on there. And then we're gonna simply line it up with our center mark. And then when we find it, we're simply gonna clamp it down. And then we got a nice smooth surface to embroider on. All right, so they want to go with some black thread, so we're gonna hit this, we're gonna hit number three, and then we're gonna go ahead and do our trace. Make sure it traces out good. All right, so that traced out good. You can also hold this down. And we are gonna hit the image that looks like a heart. And what it's gonna do is it's actually gonna trace the image. So I click that. It's actually gonna trace our image out. We can make sure that we are not gonna hit any of this as we go through this. So that looks really good. All right, so everything is good to go. Colors are picked, everything. We did our trace. Trace came out good. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and hit start.
it. Whenever it's done, simply just pick up your clamp, pull it out. So there it is on the bag. Looks good. All right, so now, like I said, we're going to open up the inside. And with this tear away, simply just tear the whole piece out. Go ahead, we're gonna start on the next one. All right, so here we are, we're gonna be using the yellow one. We're gonna go ahead and put this one away, and we're gonna use this one to show you that you can, you can do the same thing with both of them, all right? So we're gonna go ahead, and we have it lined up. We've got our center point, we're using the black thread again. We've got our number three picked. Let's go ahead Looks good. All right, so here it is. There's Madison's. And here is Trinity's. And then also remember we used the slimline clamping system. It's a hoop tech product. But again, like I said, small business to small business. If you guys are interested in this right here and the hoops that you can purchase with it additionally, um, check out sewforless.com. Again, like I said, I am not affiliated with them. It's just me as a small business owner helping out another small business owner, right? That's what it's all about. So, all right, again, remember, you have to order this piece right here in order to use these right here. So don't try to order this right here thinking that this is going to come with it. Make sure you have this piece first and then these right here, right? And then again, this is my way of doing it, right? There's plenty of hoops out there. There's plenty of clamping systems out there. Um, do what you do. I'm just putting out another way for you guys to um, do stuff like what I just did today, right? Um, there's not a lot of videos on this stuff right here, so this is all new to me also, right? So, so I'm out of here, we got a whole bunch of hats to do like this. We got some black ones that we're gonna be doing, and then we're gonna switch over and do some white ones and change the black thread to white. And then I gotta turn around and do the back of these also. I'm gonna be doing it with the circle clamp also is an attachment for the slimline clamping system. Uh, maybe whenever I do that process, I'll film that and I will show you exactly how I do that, right? So thank you guys for watching another one of these videos. Thank you guys for all the support. And until next time, keep pressing.